scene there. But Cheryl, when you hear just the age range of the victims, I mean, does that tell you that this is a shooter who was indiscriminate in terms of who he shot? Oh, absolutely. Um, you know, he came there with the specific intent of doing harm without any regard to uh, age, um, sex, if you will. Um, he came there to inflict great carnage, and that's exactly what he did. You know, as I'm listening, I'm, I'm as a mom, right, because th this breaks my heart. I could not imagine sending my child to church and then finding out later that this kind of uh, event occurred. But as a mother with young sons, I'm wondering what his parents might think or know about what he was doing in the days that led up to this. Were, were these weapons maintained at home? Uh, was there anything going on in his personality that should have given them pause? Did he utter something or act in a way that was very different in the days leading up to this? I mean, there's so much that we don't know. We do know, according to police, this is a young man, somebody in his 20s, they believe. Cheryl, does that strike you, given when we, when we see some of these killers that we've covered in the past, these mass killers, that sounds familiar? Well, he certainly seems to fit the profile, if you will, a, a, a young man with, with issues, why we don't know, uh, access to guns that, you know, I don't know why a young 20-something would have, um, at least it's as it's reported, more than one weapon. And again, as a mother, you know, I'm the kind of person, I, I joke and say, I, I keep a search warrant, right? I go in my kids' room all the time when they were living with me. And so I, I don't know how you do this and how you amass this kind of weaponry if you live with your parents and they know nothing of it. It's very troubling to me.